Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Noel here from Symbiote Collectibles. We're doing another games pick a video in, in, in my kitchen. So again, the voice, reverb or whatever, it's gonna be pretty, it, the echo's there. So that's how it is. Uh, we're doing game pickups. Um, I'm doing it at my kitchen table, or my uh, like countertop instead of my kitchen table this time, just so I have a better angle of like flipping through the cases and stuff. Um, it was my birthday on August 16th. It is August 19th or, no, it's the 21st now, I think, so. Um, about a week later, but I wanted to wait until I got my gifts and stuff and so I can show everybody everything I got and give credit where credit is due. You're going to see that uh, I'm extremely spoiled by my family members and my girlfriend, girlfriend, my girlfriend Hannah. So uh, if you guys are watching this, I love you guys. Thank you guys for everything. I appreciate it. Um, so we're going to go through my pickups, uh, birthday pickups. So we're going to go through things, used games and stuff I bought myself first. Um, I'll specify where I got it from and, and stuff like that. So I give people the credit they deserve. But I found this at a flea market for five bucks, a sealed copy of Star Wars The Old Republic for PC. Um, I don't really have, I'm not going to ever play this, I'm leaving it sealed. But really cool, five bucks. This game goes for a little bit more than that. So, you know, good find. I'm keeping it in there. I'm going to keep it sealed. I'm, I'm just happy to have it. I've been really into Star Wars lately. So I'm happy to have that game. That was a good find. Um, GameStop was also having a stupid sale and I like I got a bunch of games for cheap and I got discounts on them So uh, I paid I only paid like a half of all their value combined. But first off um, Bionic Commando by Capcom for the PlayStation 3. Um, it's part of that retro um, That retro revival stuff Capcom was doing when they were releasing a bunch of updated versions of their games and stuff so this is a, re a reboot of Bionic Commando. I got to play it. Um, I like playing as this guy in Marvel vs. Capcom. So, um, happy to have it. There I am. Look at that. I'm in the, foot. I'm in the, in the uh, cover. So there's that. Next game. Ben 10 Cosmic Destruction, guys. So, uh, don't flame me too hard, but... Uh, I used to really like Ben 10 when I was a kid and I was kind of like seeing some clips of it on Facebook and I was like, you know, you know, I like, I, I wouldn't go back and watch like the, sh the show or anything, but I think it'd be cool to actually go buy games for it. And some of these games are really good. This game's 10 bucks and I wasn't expecting that because that game is five. So like, you know, obviously it's good. People want it. There is one Ben 10 game. I think it's actually the sequel to this one that's with like 30. So... It's got some good games. I just like the alien designs, honestly. Um, I'm going to put these together, even though I got them on the same sale. Wolfenstein 2 and Wolfenstein Youngblood. I know this game sucks, apparently. But um, I played Wolfenstein 1. I got I paid super dumb cheap for this. I paid, like, nothing. So um, had to get it. I'm going to play it and beat it. But, yeah, BJ Blaskovich is back. And uh, these are his daughters in this game. Uh, I don't like how they look, but whatever. This, this code probably does not work. But yeah, so there's those games, excited. I just kind of want to keep up with the Wolfenstein story. Um, I really liked it, so got those games. Uh, next up for my pickups, Far Cry 5, I'm pissed. I got like a crazy deal on this, and uh, they, they shafted me because they this is a fake cover. So... I, I literally pulled a real game off with the cover and they set that aside, the real cover aside, and gave me this fake printed out one. So I got scammed, but whatever. I want to get back into Far Cry since everyone's kind of hyping up Far Cry 6. So or Far Cry 7, I don't remember. I don't know. They're pretty sure it's Far Cry 6. <sighs> All right, we're getting into gifts now. Um, you know what? No, actually, we're going to do the last game I bought and then we're going to go through gifts. So I've never gotten a game from Limited Run before, uh, but this is my first Limited Run game. I waited five months to get this in the mail, but King of Fighters 98, baby, Ultimate Match, PS4. Pretty sure it's extremely limited, like 2,000 copies or something like that, but happy to have it. It's just a fun little game. It's cool. They gave me this little trading card, too. So, yeah, happy to own it. Pretty sure the cover's reversible as well. It's a custom cover, so. Yeah, my first ever allergy game. 
All right, let's get into gifts. So all of these games were gifts from my girlfriend, Hannah. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna get into this. I'm gonna show you guys consoles and stuff. I might cut a little bit because I only brought a little bit out here with me. So this isn't everything that I got. I got even more. So I'm gonna stop the video, go get more stuff later on and uh, show you the rest of it. So if you guys see a weird cut, that's just what it is. Um, so Hannah got me Mass Effect 1. Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3. Um, yeah, our local storage, like our local uh, retro game store is pretty reasonable on prices. They usually charge 10 to 20% lower than like uh, price charting sites. So she, she didn't really pay too much for these. Um, but still, um, I've been wanting to play these. Everyone says they're better on Xbox 360. So Hannah got me an Xbox 360 for my birthday as, all, as well as all these Xbox 360 games. Gears of War 1. I've never played Gears of War 1. I know that's a sin, but, you know, whatever. I got it now, so. Oh, yeah, let me show you guys the uh, inside of these cases. No manual. Got the manual on this one. Got everything in this one. So the mass effects are all good. I got them all there. Um, so yeah, happy about that. Let's move on to the next games. Uh, oh, last Xbox 360 game, Soul Calibur. Um, Yoda's a guest character on this. I got the PS3 version uh, as well with Darth Vader. And I know you can get them on the opposite ones, but just for when you know the store dies and can't get the DLC, um, I wanted I wanted it both, so I have them. Now Hannah, oh wait, this is the last used game Hannah got me. It's hard, it's hard to do all this with one hand, guys. Infamous 1. Um, I have the collection of Infamous 1 um, and 2 and like the Festival of Blood or whatever. I have all those, that collection on the PS3, but... I just wanted the first one, it was cheap, 99 cents. I played the crap out of this game, so even if this is just my collector's copy, like, I played the crap out of this game when I was younger, so, got that now. Now, Hannah bought me all these games brand new uh, off Amazon, so she paid a lot. Some of these games aren't $60 anymore, some of these are still $60, um, so thank you. She went all out, and it's stupid. She goes all out for my birthday, and it's stupid how spoiled I am, but again, thank you. I appreciate it. Hannah, I love you. Thank you. Uh, we're going to start off with the Xbox games for Xbox One. Rare Replay. I'm happy with this. I really wanted it. Um, I don't play Xbox that much, but this will get me on there. A lot of games. All the banjos. Conquer. It's all on there. So I'm happy. Happy about this. Next up is Forza Horizon 4. I hate sports. Not a very sports guy or anything like that, but I love racing games. And uh, I primarily, I'm not going to lie, I wanted this for the Lego, the Lego DLC, and the Hot Wheels DLC, so, yeah. Nintendo Switch, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Rescue Team DX. Um, also, I didn't show you guys the inside, because there's nothing in there, so there's no animals. I like, I like the art in here, though. But yeah, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Team DX. Rescue Team DX. Um, it, it's an HD remake of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red and Blue. Uh, I loved Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red and Blue. I actually still have my original Game Boy Advance copy from when I was a little kid. So I, I, I love that game series. It's fun. It's a different take on Pokemon. I like the story. I like everything about it. So yeah, I'm glad to have it. Um, also, European edition. Next up, Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. It's not a kid-friendly game, but uh, I love it so much. It's one of my favorite series of all time, and it, it's just super fun. Made by, uh, you know, published by Nicalis, uh, developed by uh, Edward, Edward McMillan, I believe his name is. So he does the art. But yeah, um, I love the series. I love, I love, I just love the gameplay. I played the original Binding of Isaac on Steam for hours and hours and hours. So yeah, oh, it's got a reversible cover actually too. Wow, that's cool. But uh, yeah, so pretty good. 
I love this game. I'm going to play the crap out of it. Next up, this game. Hannah got me this game because I was talking about it for a long time. Um, my dad uh, recommended this game to me. And I'm not normally a fan of these types of games, but I'm going to try it out because my dad's recommendation. Dragon Quest. Um, yeah, Echoes of an Elusive Age. Deluxe Edition S. Stupid long name, but... It looks super fun. My dad was kind of showing me gameplay and stuff, and I wanted to get it, so I'm happy I got it. I've been playing a lot of RPGs, so hyped to play that. Um, next up, we got some new games. You know, more you know, brand new games off Amazon. Um, you know, we'll do we'll do the used ones first. Uh, there's one used PS4 game. So this is all PlayStation 4. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I have been really into Star Wars. I just finished the entire Skywalker, Skywalker Saga. So I'm really happy to have this game. Um, I'm gonna play it like immediately after I finish Final Fantasy XV. But yeah, I am super pumped to have this game. Next up, onto the new PS4 games. SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. There is very limited physical copies of this out there, so. Uh, but I've been kind of looking at it for a while. I wanted it for a long time. And I'm happy to have it and play it. I know it's a buggy like crazy, but whatever. It's SpongeBob. I love it. Next up, another game from my childhood. Hannah got me. Burnout Paradise Remastered, PS4 edition. Uh, I'm super excited to play this. I got really close to Platinum yeah, on the PS3. Um, but one of my dad's, one of my dad's friends actually played him at first. And my dad's my dad's friend played him the game, and then he would like. In Burnout Paradise, you drive around in an open world, and uh, I would just drive around and be completing missions trying to get my platinum, and my dad's friend would join in my game and then, like, run me off the road and make me lose my mission and leave my game. But it, I want to platinum it. I'm going to platinum this, just, just so I can say I finally did it after all these years. Next game, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, I'm, I, like, I have to play this. This is, like... Everyone's been talking about this game for years and years and years and years, so um, I had to play it. I'm excited to have it. Um, that's my code. Don't take that code. I'm excited to have it. And yeah, so. I think the cover is reversible too. It looks like it is. Yeah, it is. You can have just a plain black cover if you want. I'm going to keep this just because it's the iconic remake of the original Final Fantasy 7 cover. But yeah, so, happy to have that. Don't take my Square Enix code, you leeches. Next up, our well, final new game, Ghost of Tsushima. Everyone says this is good. Um, I was kinda, you know, not gonna get it for a while. Then I was like, you know what, I put it on my, wish, my game wish list and Hannah got it for me. It's made by Sucker Punch, one of my favorite studios of all time. Sucker Punch also made Infamous. They also made the Sly Cooper collection, or the Sly Cooper games, or whatever. Um, so, pretty sure it was like Sucker Punch. But anyways, if I'm wrong, whatever, it roasts me alive, I don't really care. Uh, um, yeah, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, it's the final PlayStation 4 first party exclusive out of Sony for this gen. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to stack all these games back up, and we're going to put uh, the last couple of things I got and the new consoles I got up here, so... Be right All back. right, I am back, and I pulled out the rest of the game stuff that I've gotten. Um, that I'll, you know, I'll show up the Xbox first because that's still from Hannah. Um, but this is my my new Xbox 360. Um, pretty sure it's the E model or whatever. But uh, yeah, so that's my new Xbox. Um, it's a funny story actually. Uh, I tested my my Hannah got me a different one, um, and she, luckily she got the warrant or the warranty warrant. She put a warrant out for the Xbox, and uh, we 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 went in and we brought it back, and uh, I was it red ringed on me. Like I turned it on immediately, red ring immediately. So I was like, um, okay, you know what? I'm gonna uh, oh, this still has like a new sticker on it. Um, I'm gonna bring this back. I brought it back and they gave me a refund or whatever, or not a refund, but they let me, they traded it out for this one. So this one works. They gave me, actually, they gave me, they didn't give me an HDMI for it, believe it or not. They gave me this AV connector. So if I ever want to play, I have so many HDMI cables, I just use that HDMI anyway. But this AV, I have an AV adapter for my Xbox now. 
Um, but yeah, so I love the X, I, I like the Xbox 360. I've never had one. I was a PS3 kid, but happy to own an Xbox 360. Now we're on a gifts from my parents. This is my parents' gifts for me for my birthday. So thank you guys. Love you guys. Um, like I said, I'm extremely spoiled by my family. Um, but yeah, my parents pay, paid a pretty good get, like, get, like price for this whole lot. So um, I'm gonna show off all the really like top tier games, and, and like individually. But uh, for the Wii wear or for like the you know shovelware and stuff like that, uh, just the games that you know everybody has on the Wii that aren't you know crazy. Um, I'm gonna I put in a stack right there. But yeah, so. This is the Wii, this is the non-backwards compatible model. Um, so it's not compatible with the GameCube. I have a GameCube, so I don't really care. Um, but yeah, so happy to own that. Uh, I needed a Wii to complete my Nintendo home console. Hannah had a Wii, but it broke. So, but now we have a, um, we have a working Wii unit to play games on. Um, and my parents got lucky because this lot actually came with this too. And it came with a Wii Motion Plus Wiimote, so that usually normally does not happen. <laughs> but this is the stack of kind of like, you know, average games. A lot of lots like this will have like random kids games and stuff thrown in there. So these are all the, you know, just the average titles everyone buys. Sorry for my finger. Um, now we're going to go into the, the big dog stuff. Um, we're going to organize them like this. All right. First off, Link's Crossbow Training. Uh, I love this game actually, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I like it, it's fun. I'm gonna play it still, I don't care. And uh, my favorite Link is Twilight Princess Link, so even just for the cover art, like, it's dope, I like it. Uh, next up, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Like I said, my parents paid maybe half of what this is worth for the lot, so they got a steal. But Donkey Kong Country Returns. This game's actually really fun. I like it a lot. It comes with everything. Go ahead, use that Club Nintendo code. Use it. Use it. I guarantee you, you'll get a lot of Club Nintendo points out of it now. Anyways, uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. It's pretty fun. Me and my dad played it for a little while uh, when I got it. Next big dog game, Mario Party 9. I don't know why this game is, is worth so much. Um, Considering it's the start of like when everybody started hating Mario Party um, and like Nintendo screwed it up. I just think it's for the mini games. But yeah, um, we, I, didn't, I, I played some of the mini games on here. I really, really like the mini games. I just don't like the single car mechanic, but cool. Steel that they paid. They basically paid the price of this for the whole lot. It's insane. Super Paper Mario. Um, I mean, it's Paper Mario. Everybody loves Paper Mario. So, yeah, pretty happy to own that. Oh, I'll show it inside too. Steal the Nintendo code. Next up, final game Legend of Zelda. Skyward Sword. Zelda is my favorite, favorite, favorite game series. Um, I played this for a little bit, but I never finished it. And normally, when you find these copies used, you don't find the Symphony Disc in here, but it has that. Um, Three, two, one. All right, we're on the final game for the Wii uh, lot that my parents bought. The final game is um, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm gonna do that one more time. One more time. Three, two, one. All right, we're on the final game. Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword for the Wii. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people don't like this game, but I've never played it and I'm, I'm pretty excited to play it. Um, normally when you find these, they don't come with the Zelda Symphony disc, but it's in there, and the game, so that's cool. Manual's all there. And yeah, you know, I know a lot of people don't like it, but it's kind of starting to rise back up in popularity, given this price tag. So, excited to play it. So, I know, I got spoiled, I got absolutely spoiled, all my family members, and you know, my girlfriend really went all out. And I appreciate it, and I'm glad, and my gaming collection just 
went up like 80 games. <laughs> so, you know, my backlog just grew exponentially. Um, I'm screwed and I'm never going to catch up. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please uh, follow me on Twitter. And I will be posting more comic book and video game stuff related stuff soon. I just started a new podcast with my friend Corey, a.k.a. The Infamous Orion on Twitter. Uh, so please go listen to that if you're interested in comic book stuff. If you're not interested in comic book stuff, don't worry about it. We're not that educated on that stuff. We just kind of talk about the books we like and what's coming out each week and our favorite superheroes and stuff. Sorry about my dog clacking around. It's so annoying. Um, <laughs> I love her to death. But I, I feel like every video I make from now on, she's going to be clacking. Anyways, uh, we just talk about comic books and stuff. So if you're interested in that, uh, please go listen. It's about an hour long. So we're just testing the waters. Thinking about doing a video game podcast too. I think it'd be fun to talk about my opinions with games and uh, you know what I think about the gaming industry and what's happening, what's coming out and stuff. So thinking about doing that, I'll let you guys know if we end up choosing to do that. Obviously, because you'll see a, a video called the Video Game Podcast. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I'm going to actually do a comic book pickup video right after this. So um, anyways, again, thank you for watching. See you guys.